We welcome you back to the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship Selection Show. Let us now focus our attention on the upper right quadrant where we continue our reveal of the tournament brackets from the NCAA and its corporate champion, Capital One. That second overall number one seed is Arizona. The Wildcats are headed to the South region. Seventh time the Wildcats have been the number one seed all time, for the first time since 2014. The Wildcats at 31 and 3 overall, 18 and 2 out of that Pac-12. They won the Pac-12 regular season title, went on to win the Pac-12 tournament, defeating UCLA. They'll play against the winners of the first four. Winner in Dayton, Ohio, on Wednesday. That'll be between the Raiders of Wright State and the Bryant Bulldogs out of the Northeast. They knocked off Wagner for their first NCAA tournament appearance ever. Regular season champs for the first time as well. Peter Kiss leads the nation in scoring, averaging 25 points. Yeah, he's a got a lot of game. Actually averaged over 30 a game his last 11, so that guy can get it in the basket. All right, the second team out of the Big East is the number eight seed, and that'll be the Pirates of Seton Hall. Five straight Big East regular season wins to end the year. And these teams in the 8-9 area, we always look at those games, but in a year where there's so much compression, these kinds of teams, Seton Hall, you look at Boise State, Memphis, and whoever else is there at that 9 spot, these games are going to be challenges for whoever advances to meet that number one seed. I'll tell you who's in that number 9 spot. The <laughs> I figured you would. Well, there goes. I the figured you Frogs would. of TCU, Coach Jamie Dixon's squad, eight Big 12 wins, second most in program history, 20-12 and 12 on the year for TCU. So congrats to them. First and second round games in Pittsburgh. These will be on Friday and Sunday. The second seed out of the American Athletic is the number five Houston Cougars. Coach Kelvin Sampson took the Cougars to their third regular season title in the last four years. They will meet the number 12 seed out of Conference USA, the Blazers of UAB. They defeated Louisiana Tech in the Conference USA tournament title game, and they're making their first tournament appearance since 2015. Third team out of the Big Ten is the number four seed, the Fighting Illini of Illinois. Three consecutive 20-win seasons. Kofi Coburn, only player in the country, averaging at least 20 points and 10 rebounds. The Mox of Chattanooga. Chattanooga, 27-7 and seven on the year. They come into the NCAA tournament after winning the Southern Tournament. They also won the regular season Southern title. Five and seven are the 13 seeds in the last three tournaments, right, Seth? Say it. Say it. And Say this it. Chattanooga team has the build of a, of a power conference team. They've got size at every position. They've got a terrific all-around player in Malachi Smith. That is a matchup that I can't wait to see. All right, guys, let's move on now. Now, first and second round games in Indianapolis on Thursday and Saturday, the second team out of the Mountain West. The Rams of Colorado State. The Rams make their first NCAA tournament appearance since 2013. They've got David Roddy, who's the Mountain West Player of the Year, 25 and 5 on the season for Colorado State. They will meet the fourth team out of the Big Ten, the Michigan Wolverines. Hunter Dickinson, a second straight season, leading the Wolverines in scoring and rebounding. A lot of conversation about Michigan. They were a bubble team, first four in, first four out. They're not even in the first four in. They got an 11 seed with room to spare despite that 17 and 14 overall record. That'll be a conversation. Strength piece. of schedule in the conference and outside of and a guy quality that, wins. That yep. Seed. Yep. All right, the number three seed, the third team out of the SEC, is the Volunteers of Tennessee won their first SEC tournament title since 1979, beating Texas A&M. I thought Tennessee had an outside shot either at a one seed or at least to be the top two seed. Very surprised to see them on the three line. Who are they meeting? Out of the Big South, the Lancers of Longwood, their first Big South regular season title in school history. They make their first ever NCAA tournament appearance after winning the Big South tournament final. 26 and 6 on the year. Let's continue to move on. First and second round games in Pittsburgh on Friday and Sunday. The fifth team out of the Big Ten is the number seven seed Buckeyes of Ohio State. They make it four straight NCAA tournament appearances. Nice seed for the Buckeyes there in a comfortable location as well. Who will they meet? Out of the Missouri Valley Conference, the 10th seed Ramblers of Loyola, Chicago. That is not comfortable. Three. <laughs> Valentine, youngest coach in NCAA Division I men's basketball. They make it back to back, to back NCAA tournament appearances. And rounding out, from the Big East, third team out of the Big East, the number two seed, the Wildcats of Villanova. Coach Wright makes it nine straight NCAA tournament appearances. Wildcats won the Big East tournament title. 
who will they meet? They'll go up against the Blue Hens of Delaware, the number 15 seed. For the first time since 2014, Delaware comes back to the NCAA tournament, and they upset the top two seeds in the Colonial Athletic Association tournament. So let's go back and review as we move back to the top of this bracket. Clark, what pops out at you? Well, I talked about it earlier. I said it earlier. When you have these 8-9 teams that are really pretty strong, it's going to be interesting in those second-round matchups, assuming the one seeds move on. And then you look at UAB. This is a high-scoring, explosive offensive team. You've got one of the best small players in the country in Jordan Jelly Walker. This guy can put it up and put it in. And so that'll be a real challenge for Houston. A remarkable job by Houston this season under the losing Marcus Sasser and Tremont Mark. Calvin Sampson did a phenomenal job, and that team is playing some of its best basketball here in the last week. Let me be clear. The Chattanooga Mocs are going to the Sweet 16. I think it pairs up well for them. I know Illinois had the disappointment of last year, and then, you know, Villanova was hoping to get to Philadelphia. Didn't happen. Clark, don't pay attention. Loyola's going to beat Ohio State <laughs> in the first round, and uh, Tennessee, I think it sets up well for them to go into the Elite Eight. Well, I know the Buckeyes want to get healthy having a start on Friday. An added day should help them get a little healthier and a little ready, a little more ready for a tough Loyola Chicago. I don't like right, Tennessee guys. as a three.